Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 2 of Nanbaka, or The Numbers, whatever. So, episode 2! Well, now that wasn't as funny as episode 1, but it was interesting. That's what I will give this episode. It was pretty interesting. It had, it had a few moments that I was like, oh, haha, but it wasn't like, you know, burst out laughing funny like the first episode was, which I could see that kind of being a thing with this series, where some episodes are really, really funny, but then others are kind of a, you know, a little light laugh episode, which is what this was. Um, it was interesting, though. Um, we got introduced to some new characters, and I, by introduced, I mean we got to see them, and that's it. Um, and we got to see, you know, the guys try to, you know, well, really just Drew go try to break out of prison and stuff, you know, just kind of, just all this little stuff in the beginning, but also, in the very beginning, or towards the beginning, I don't remember exactly where it was, but we find out that the warden, uh, her name is forgot what it was. I think it starts with an H, though, but she, the blue-haired one, she has a thing for Hajime, the bald dude, and, like, she's, like, she was, like, fangirling over him, and I'm just, like, oh, she's so cute. Aren't you adorable? Like, her voice changed. Like, she has this, like, really deep, serious voice, and then she's, like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> I'm just like, what is going on? Um, she's really cute. I'm like, oh, you're so adorable. Uh, whatever your name is. But, um, yeah, so she's got a thing for bald dude. Uh, Hajime, I think his name is. And I just laughed at those parts. Those parts were just so funny. Like, with her just, like, I just laughed so hard. But, um, also we got to learn a little bit more about our ma four main guys, uh, the inmates, um, she, uh, one dude is British, that's the guy with the hat, I think his name is Uno, um, got to learn a little bit about him, and from what it looked like, his probably past is something to do with his family, I'm not exactly sure, because you saw, like, him when he's a kid, and then, like, somebody writing at a desk, so maybe that's, like, his dad ignoring him or something, um, and then the, uh, the green-haired one, Nico, I think his name is, uh, he was just, you know, experimenting on, you know, and apparently he, it looked like, uh, with his little thing, when he was thinking about it, uh, it looks like he was born on the streets, and probably very poor, um, so yeah, that's a thing, and then, um, Oh yeah, the um the other dude with the the one that looks like a punk dude. Um his uh, um he's um I forgot. I forgot, but uh they're all different nationalities. Um like Uno, he's British. Uh Jugo's Japanese. The other two Oh, the other two are American. Nico and the other dude are American. That's what it was. Um so yeah, Nico American um the other dude, I forgot his name, um he's also American. Those two are American, then Jugo's Japanese and there you go. So it looked like with, I don't remember with that dude, it, I keep forgetting about that one dude, um, because I guess he's the least interesting out of the, out of the four of them to me, but, um, as for Jugo, uh, he saw when he was a baby in a prison cell, and I'm like, oh, you poor thing, and also we got to see when Jugo had, like, really short hair, and it didn't have, like, the red and stuff, and I'm like, dang, he still looked good back then, like, yeah, like, you still look good. Um, but yeah, so this was a pretty interesting episode, especially towards the end there where they did that whole segment, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, and then at the very end, we see a new inmate, um, with very pointed teeth and pointed ears, and he's very scary looking, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, yay, we got a new inmate coming into Cell 13, uh, I think they're in Cell 13, because I watched the preview for the next episode, I'm pretty sure that's what they said, so, overall, this is a pretty enjoyable episode, pretty funny at some points, but it's also had that, like, not really, I don't want to call it exactly serious serious, but it was like, you know, here's more of the story in a way, so, I think this is going to be interesting, like, um, first episode, very comedic, everything, but this one was more light chuckles, and then here's your, like, story plot, kind of stuff. So yeah, something interesting that they're doing with this series. So what did you guys think of this second episode of Nambaka? Are you going to keep watching Nambaka? I'm going to keep watching Nambaka because I want to actually finish this series. So I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. So see you guys then. Bye!